Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion we're off to the Faulkner Railway Station to see a carriage or a train car that once took the dearly departed to the cemetery by rail. The Faulkner Railway Station is located on the Upfield Line in Victoria, Australia. It serves the northern Melbourne suburb of Hadfield and it opened on the 8th of October 1889 as Faulkner. It closed on the 13th of July 1903 and reopened on the 12th of December 1906 as Faulkner Cemetery. It was renamed Faulkner in 1914. From the early 1890s, new cemeteries were needed in Melbourne. A northern suburb cemetery conference held in 1902 suggested a 284 acre site which included Faulkner Railway Station. This was adapted in 1905 and approved in 1906 by the state government. The first funeral was held on the 10th of December 1906. And as you see as we ride in, this railway station is actually within the boundary of the Faulkner Cemetery. From the outset, the new cemetery was linked to the city by a dedicated rail service. One service per day ran from Flinders Street Station, Platform 10 East, which is the track closest to the Yarra River, known as the Mortuary Platform. And this ran as an ordinary passenger service with additional hearse carriages attached at the rear of the passenger carriages. Each hearse carriage could take 20 coffins. These carriages were then uncoupled at the Faulkner Cemetery Station siding where the mourners and bereaved would also get off for the service. The train would then continue to its next destination. A later train pushed the now empty carriages at the front back to Flinders Street Station for the process to repeat the next day. Although the railway station only received funeral or mortuary trains at first, a housing development was encouraged by its presence and ordinary passenger trains began in 1914. The regular funeral train service was discontinued in 1939, though occasional trains would be run until 1952. The funeral or hearse carriages were scrapped and thought lost forever before three were found on a farm in 1990. After restoration, one of these is now on display next to the Faulkner Railway Station, which we are about to visit. As a side note, this all came about because churchyard graveyards had been banned and in their place, the land was allocated for vast necropolises of all religious and non-religious denominations, which were administered and currently still are by city councils. Faulkner and Springvale Cemetery were two of note. However, also in Sydney, they did the same and also had funeral train carriage services. This consequently gave councils a huge revenue base and an opportunity to generate income. So without further to do, let's check out this funeral carriage or hearse railway car.
Now, just a quick note, as this train approaches Faulkner Railway Station, uh, you can see that there's no sidings that one can see anymore. They've all been removed, but basically uh, the train would pull up, uh, those carriages would be unhooked, uh, the mourners would get off, and later in the day, uh, another train heading back to the city would collect those empty carriages. So here we are, nearing the end of this presentation or video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, by all means, give us that thumbs up. Leave a comment if you didn't. Uh, I read all the comments and any criticism uh, that's constructive, I absolutely take on board. Once again, subscribing, it it's for free, it doesn't cost you a cent, and it really does help the channel. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe, and have a great day.